stop cramming and study smarter with these techniques that will help you retain information and ace your exams. I'm finishing up my third year as a computer science major. Over the years, as the courses get harder and more demanding, I've had the chance to revise some study techniques so I can study smarter. Since exam season is approaching, here are my six study techniques that aren't just space repetition and the Feynman technique that will help you ace your finals and midterms. The six ideas that I'll be going over are the work backwards schedule, investigation, piecing the puzzle, active recall, sleep and memory, and exam anxiety. Number one, the work backwards schedule. Making an exam schedule is critical for setting yourself up for exam success. So let's design a work backwards schedule for my exams this semester. I have an internet computing final on April 17th. I have a graphics final on April 20th. I have a relational database final on April 26th. The day before the exam is a day I like to allocate for mock testing. Then try to figure out how many chapters slash modules you'll need to review prior to the exam and then divide it among the remaining days. For internet computing I have eight modules I need to cover over three days so that would be two to three modules a day then I just applied the same idea to my other exams last semester I had three computer science exams back to back December 11th I had relational database course the next day was computer hardware and the OS and the day after was data structures and algorithms I did an interleaving pattern working backwards from the first exam to the last exam on December 11th I do relational database that means the day before I do relational database study and I'll just work backwards interleaving the exam study schedule. Number two, investigate the subject. Spend time figuring out what type of course it is and this will help dictate the studying that you need to do for it. Generally there are two types of courses, one that is more application heavy and this will involve a lot more hands-on assignments. This could be something like a data structure and algorithms course which is much more application heavy and there involves a lot of algorithm implementation. For these courses, I recommend directing your studies towards redoing assignments and then designing questions that are similar to the assignment questions and try to solve them yourself. Another type of course is a theory-based or information-dense course. This would be something like an internet computing course. There's a ton of information about the network layer and your learning comes mostly from lectures, notes, textbooks, or videos. Because the course is content heavy, a lot of your studying will involve repetition or memory Another useful tip for investigating the subject is to try to figure out the type of questions the professor likes to ask. There may be a particular style of question or a topic that your professor really likes to ask. This pattern can be found in any previous exams or assignments and can be used to help direct your studying. Number three, piecing together the puzzle. My next tip is to gather information from a bunch of different sources, lectures, videos, textbooks, or even your friends. Lectures often do not cover the full scope of the topic and each time you seek information from a different source, you kind of fill a piece of the puzzle. Other sources can also provide a different perspective that you didn't think of or consider. In my computer hardware, and operating system course, a week before the final, I finally understood the difference between block-based file system and page tables because my friend explained to me that one was in a disk and one was in the cache. Each time you look to a different source, you solidify your learning by filling a piece of the puzzle. Number four, mock exams or active recall. Set aside a day for testing for the subject. A lot of psychological studies show that we learn better when we take out information from our brain. Doing mock exams is a very effective way to retrieve information from our brain and also assess what we know and don't know. When you do your day of mock exams, clear your environment, make sure your environment is free of distractions, and this will also simulate the actual testing environment and get you in the feeling of what it is to take an exam. Number five, the importance of sleep. It is very important to get enough sleep the night before an exam. A study done in 2012 shows how sacrificing sleep more than usual to study can affect your performance on exam the next day. Sleep is also crucial for forming long-term memories. I also recommend reviewing your notes or any of the learnings that you did throughout that day right before you go to bed. Another study done in 2012 by Jessica Payne and Matthew Tucker shows how learning directly before you go to sleep can be beneficial to your memory. Number six, dealing with exam anxiety. While this is not directly involved with studying, exam anxiety can really affect your performance. My first thing is just to stop studying at least an hour before your exam. At this point, you've already learned as much as you can and this hour is not going to help you. 
use this hour to decompress, get some nutrients in, and get some fresh air. I suggest going on a walk, eating a snack, just to get your energy up. Remember that the actual point of the exam is just to see what you've learned so far. Nothing more than that. If you stuck to your schedule and did your best, you should be proud. The results will just show eventually. I hope you enjoyed this study tips video and found it helpful. Leave in the comments any study tips that you have. Like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful and if you're currently writing finals right now or starting to write your finals, I wish you a lot of luck. I hope that they go really well for you. And I know that they will because you studied and followed my advice. Um, <laughs> speaking of finals, I just had two of mine. I've got two more to go. I wrote my internet computing one on Monday. And no, let's just say I learned something from that course. I know how SMTP works, how to do TCP connections, how to make a socket and Java and C. So that's enough. We did good. We learned our thing. And I do think that it's a pretty useful course. And I feel like everyone should probably take it at some point. Um, and then on Thursday, I wrote my computer graphics final, which um, I don't know if I studied like the most for that, but the test went as well as it probably could have like with the amount of study which is good i think i did pretty i passed i did pretty well i think um yes and if you are ubc and you sh and computer science you should definitely take cpsc 314 if you're in third year or fourth year it's such a good course and the professor is so nice he is so nice he's one of the nicest professors i've ever had um i think his name is michael uh and the assignments are really fun if you're interested in video games or graphics or just design like anything like that super fun it's a great course just a little bit of linear algebra but other than that fantastic um what's the other thing oh also does anyone just feel so good after they take an exam I feel like a weight has been lifted off of me and I feel like I've run a marathon. I've got so much energy. I feel so light. I just feel so good. After my 314, I was like, I have, I went to bed at 5 a.m. the previous night. Um, we're still going strong. Like, this is amazing. I felt so good. But yeah, We'll see how my next two finals go. I've got database final. I have a wine final, which will be fun. There's a wine tasting component. I don't know how well I'm going to do. My friends and I, I think we're going to do a bit of a wine tasting night the day before, just to see, just to get some practice in. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, thanks for listening to my update. Good luck on your finals and I'll see you in the next video.